So one of the best parts about my job here with Industrial CNC is I get to talk with so many different people about all the awesome features and benefits that our CNC systems offer. You know, we usually focus on all the different applications that the table can be used for and projects that they'll create or specification information about a particular model that they're interested in. And people can get so caught up in the excitement of diving in and learning more about this new world of CNC that they can often forget to ask some of the more pragmatic questions. Recently, we had a customer who had made the mistake of purchasing a router from another company in the past uh, give us a call and they asked about you know, upgrading to one of our systems. And he just asked this great, direct, and practical question right out of the gate. Because you see, after what we'll just call a less than favorable experience with the other company, he wanted to make sure he avoided anything similar right from the start. If it starts bad, he said, it usually ends that way. And then he asked the question, how does it arrive? And I thought, that is a great topic to explore more of because what can seem like such a minor detail is really an opportunity to highlight another way that we stand out in serving your needs. Because we've helped tens of thousands of people navigate their introduction to CNC routing, we have the experience to anticipate and remedy potential obstacles and needs long before you've probably even considered them. A perfect example is represented by the fact that many manufacturers today are content to just shrink wrap their customer's table with a piece of plastic, load it on the back of a truck, push it out the door, and hope for the best while your table journeys on down the road with no physical protection from the elements and bumps or incidents that can happen with shipping cargo of that size. Around here, we prefer to do things to a higher standard. Every new CNC system that we sell is packaged right. It'll be placed on a structurally sound skid, the router will then be plastic wrapped, and any peripheral devices and accessories will be secured in place. A protective wooden crate will then be constructed around the entire system. This crating service is included in the cost of every new system. You'll never be hit with an extra crating fee or handling fee or hidden extra expense. So now that we've explored everything that we put into preparing and protecting your shipment, let's look at how you get out of it once it arrives. We're going to use the magic of some awesome editing and a time-lapse video to show how quick and easy the uncrating and setup of a Pro Series system can be. The particular system shown in this video is the Apprentice 404. It's a 4x4 CNC router table with a standard T-slot bed. Keep in mind that we have several smaller and larger systems in many different configurations and with many different accessories. So your system may look a little different and setup may vary, including more or less from what's shown here in this video. I do want to make sure to mention that every system includes an easy to follow, step-by-step -step guide with full color pictures covering every aspect of the setting up of your system. And this quick video here is by no means meant to be a setup guide. I just thought it might be a fun way to show in a quick time-lapse video what to expect when your table hits the shop floor. So why don't we cut to it? Okay, so we're back from that. That wasn't bad at all. It took us about 10 minutes to get that crate open. So you had the opportunity to see what the crate's gonna look like when it arrives and hits your shop floor. You had an opportunity to see you know, what's involved in opening of the crate and discarding of some of that material, getting it out of the way. And we are left now with the table sitting on your shop floor 
still wrapped in the protective plastic. So our next video, we're gonna hop to, again, we'll do it in time lapse. We're gonna unwrap the table, remove the plastic. We'll put on a couple of the peripheral devices like motor covers and make sure that the wire chain is, is screwed in where it needs to be. And at the conclusion of that, essentially that table is sitting ready to start making sawdust with the exception of you know, hooking a computer up to it, adding your power to the table, and hooking up the water pump for the liquid cooled spindle. You're ready to run. I hope that gives you some perspective into you know, what to expect, how it arrives, how to get it out of it. Again, by no means is this meant to be a setup manual. You're going to receive a full step-by-step -step manual with full color pictures that shows you everything and gets into more detail on your specific table. So if there's any questions at all, feel free to call, text, or email industrialcnc.com. We really look forward to helping you get up and make some sawdust.